I'm in a random multi-story car park. I'm in a town ready to hit the charity shops. So yeah, it's thrifting time. Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name's George Ross, this is Retro Reselling and I'm off charity shopping for the first time since I can remember. I'm not sure the last time I went to a different town just to search their charity shops for cool stuff to sell. Not a charity shop championship like I tried to do last year before COVID hit and I couldn't finish it. That might happen again this winter, I'm not sure yet. Going around Braintree, that's where I am today in Braintree. Going around their town charity shops and seeing what I can get for the lowest price and seeing what I can list it for to hopefully make a profit on. So I've got the new GoPro 9, I've attached it to my rucksack, all like normal. Shoulder height, come with me, see if I miss anything, see what I do pick up or put back down again. I'll see you either back in the car or back at the unit and I'll show you exactly what I did get, what I paid for it and then hopefully I'm going to list it for. That's the name of the game, let's get in there. Let's have some fun. If there's some music I have to cover over the top, then it's because the radio's on or they're playing like copyright music and I have to cover that up, otherwise I get hit on YouTube. So yeah, just take note of that. Enjoy it. See you in a bit. It's open. A 10. Ah, oh, come on. Here we go. It's actually open. Yeah. Alright, thank you. So, but there we go. All right. Well, I'll see you probably tomorrow. Unless oh. you're not here. Oh, no, I don't. No, I'm not. It's not saying tomorrow. I don't do weekends now, darling. Okay, well, are you beginning of the week then? Uh, yeah, I should be around right next week. Alright, well, I'll see you next week, Mama. Alright, bye. Take care. Take and care. Bye. bye.
Oh, yes, please. Have the Disney bits been priced up behind you at all? No, oh. not as yet. Did you um, drive them? Yeah. Can I have a look at Wally, the cube one, the little robot? Yeah, Thank you. There we go. Come on, thank you. Right. <laughs> How much would that one be, do you know? Uh, pound. Pound? Yeah, I'll yep. take him as well. Uh, right, okay. See if I've got an odd pound in my wallet. Oh, there you go, I've got a five yeah, there. That's okay, okay, thank you. No, it's alright, I've got a bag, it's okay. You can live in here. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Okay. Is it this way? That way oh, this way, way. yeah, okay. We're back. Quite surprising, really. Haven't been charity shopping like that since probably midwinter, sort of February time, I think, before we went into a whole lockdown. Everything when I was doing a charity shop championship. Hopefully, that makes a comeback. Not sure yet. I'm not sure how the winter's going to pan out with all these new restrictions and things. So, yeah, it was good to get out to another town, go through their charity shop, see what I have to offer for me. There's definitely a difference. I've got used to boot sales, getting higher quality stuff, paying up for things, but it's returning good, exciting items. But actually, looking at the table, I'm very pleased with the sort of quality I've got. Um, obviously, I'll flip you around in a minute and show you what I did get. I haven't added it up precisely, but I spent about 40, 50 pounds here. And one of these items alone should be getting that on its own. And then the rest is pure gravy. That's what we like. So here we go. Flip the camera around now, show you what I did get, what I paid for it, what I'm hoping to list it for on eBay and Depop mainly. I think we'll start up here. We've got a couple of items of clothing. We'll go with this one because 
I really like this. I really want to keep this. Uh, sort of vintage retro Adidas hoodie. So it's got hood and a zip up as well, so, which I haven't seen many times before. Normally with an Adidas zip up, you've just got like a collar, but this actually has a hood on it, which is really cool. I had to pay up a little bit, £7.50, size medium, which is why I might keep it. My size, it looks really cool, nice green colour. I'll see the three stripes down the arms. Yeah, really, really like this. 750 if I am to list it on eBay and Depop, cross list with this one, perfect for Depop. I'm going to be aiming maybe £25-30 because it is unique, really cool colour, really nice design. And I'll be hoping to get that to be honest, 20 to 25 getting at least. And I'm expecting this to sell on Depop as well, which would be cool. Get that store up and running again. Nice motorbike jacket now, uh, Frank Thomas this one. Uh, Motorbike jackets tend to be leather or textile. This is a textile uh, jacket. Men's size extra large. Bigger the better normally with biker stuff or men's stuff in general. Been well looked after, nice and clean, no damage or anything. Paid 10 for this one. I think this was like the last pickup of the day with a couple of other bits. Uh, 10 hopefully into 45, 50 pounds. Really nice thing. Good size, should sell quick as well. Then coming down to the table, uh, got this with the biker jacket. Got this really cool Ferrari Grand Prix, like hold all bag, like sports bag. It's been written on, which is a shame on the address tag. Paid £5 for this. Trying to look it up what I might get, but I can't seem to find anything on eBay at all. Uh, picked it up just because it's, yeah, good subject matter, Grand Prix, uh, which is collectible and highly watched anyway. And then we've got Ferrari as well, so a nice logo there, mix all together. Taking a chance at £5. Off the top of my head right now, obviously this isn't set in stone, this is a guesstimate. Uh, I'm going to say maybe 30 to 40, probably 35-ish. Uh, but then knowing me, when it comes to actually listing it, if it's rare, uh, I might aim a bit higher. Maybe I aim towards 50 and then take offers. Because obviously start low and you miss out on potential profit. Whereas start high and you can bring the price down or accept offers. So yeah, always aim high when you're not sure and you haven't got much competition. Took a complete punt on this guy. Uh, what's this? Two ninety nine. I think this is from a British Heart Foundation. Vintage like Liverpool FC footballer, doll, action man type. Yeah, not really sure. Took a complete punt. Uh, the internet wasn't working very well, so I took a complete punt. Uh, obviously, football's collectible anyway, and he's vintage. I think this is Robbie Fowler. I thought it was Michael Warren or Robbie Fowler, but I had a quick look, and it's Robbie Fowler. Shame he hasn't got his name on the back, but he seems to be complete. It's got his boots, socks, shorts and top. Yeah, quite a cool thing. Nice and cheap, 2 99 No idea on price. A couple have sold really low, but they've been like auctions, which is not what I do. I list everything, buy it now, name or price, and then hopefully people pay that or accept offers. Uh, again, a guesstimate, I'm going to probably aim 20 £25, pound, maybe push 30 35 Again, with no competition, we'll see how he goes. But from 2 99 I'm pretty sure I'm not missing out there. Just shame about the team. Nice set of bowls here. In fact, this was uh, part of here. I think I got these three together. Got the bag, the jacket, and then the bowls. Paid 10 for the bowls. Henselite, long bowls. I think these are made in Australia, Henselite. But yeah, it was nice. It was complete with its box. I do check them briefly just to make sure I've got no dinks on anything. Because obviously the game with bowls, you knock your opponent off and they can tend to chip or crack. But these are good. Just a little wipe over. Henselite Super Grip. I think size 5. The size was on here. There we go. Classic Deluxe. Size 5 medium. Tapped all that in. And from my £10. Should be aiming with the box. 40 to 50. Uh, I might have to take an offer of sort of 35. But from 10, 35. Not too bad. Not amazing. But again, like I say, it gets them bills paid. A couple of bits of footwear. Pair of Converse, paid £7.50, which is paying up a little bit for Converse. Obviously, like I say, the sort of bog standard white ones or black or whatever, they tend to not go for much money. This is slightly different. Looks like a pair of jeans. It's not quite denim. But it's like a textile type um, material. Nice leather badge with some sort of brown reddish lace. Yeah, looked really cool, a bit different and lots of tread left in the bottom as well. So I was wanting to spend a £7.50, size 9. I'm probably going to be aiming hopefully 25 pushing 28 30 from 750 and like i say with shoes i don't mind a smaller margin because they're easy to picture easy to list easy to post uh should sell quick as well and again one for depop this was nice this might be bargain of the day got some burgers or burghouse i was corrected many times <laughs> i pronounced this wrong the other week 
pair of walking shoes only paid two pounds absolute bargain especially for this brand this is sort of a higher end walking outdoor activity type brand really nice condition just a shame it's missing the insoles so i have to replace them just with some cheap plain ones just so it's complete these are a women's size uh what we've got size five here so really good women's size size five that's sort of a national average i think five and six is like the most popular sizes loads of tread uh probably more than a few times but from two pound can't be arguing at that because i should be asking hopefully 40 to 50 pound for these really good brand really nice and clean we're in the bright season for it as well autumn obviously it's starting to get damp now and wet so people are going to start looking for walking shoes and these should sell very quickly just need to get them up as soon as i can got a bog standard harry potter hardback complete with its dust jacket here um i just picked this up as a bundle I only paid a pound I think I need a goblet of fire again. Uh, I keep like a bundles here. When I've got a complete set with a couple of other extras, I list them for sort of 100, 120. Again, depending on the uh, current market for Harry Potter sets. So yeah, that's just going straight as a bundle. That's really nice. I think it was as I was playing for this one, I think. I saw this in the background. I had a few Disney toys. They weren't priced up yet, but obviously if you don't ask the question, you don't get. I asked the question and they only charged a pound, which was brilliant. Uh, in fact, this might be bargain of the day or close. Um, for a pound, we got Wally. I think one of our girls has got this toy. They got it for their birthday a few years ago. But he obviously folds up in a cube when he's asleep and then you can push the buttons and he folds out. We've got his eyes there and his have to do it now there we go and then we've got wally and his front folds down there see his junk yeah really cool toy wally's always really popular with like the kids and collectors as well this holds its price really well obviously like i said i've paid a pound this should be hopefully 25 30 pounds really sought after toy really cute thing no electronics or anything you can get electronic ones that have remote control and his eyes light up and everything you can run him around the room they go for really good money if you can find the big version of them. This is a standard toy, fold away toy, pound to 25, awesome stuff. Last pickup of the day is not a charity shop. I've mentioned this a lot on the channel, but if you are new here and you go charity shopping looking for things to buy to sell for profit, do not ignore your cash converter stores. And this is where I picked this up. So shops like cash converters and similar shops, they buy stuff and obviously research it. And they know what they're doing most of the time. And then they list it at eBay prices or online prices. But sometimes they slip up. I've picked many things up now. I have quite a few things sort of throughout the year. I might pick up a handful of things that are worth good money. This is one of them. Nice vintage JVC camcorder. I think this is compact VHS there. Yeah, so sort of smaller tapes. Comes with a battery, quite a heavy thing. It's got its charger, and I've only paid $19.99 for this, which obviously to the untrained eye might seem sort of standard for an old camera, like who wants old cameras, right? But they are sought after, and there's currently a trend at the moment, especially on YouTube. YouTubers and vloggers, they're filming their videos using old cameras like this. I'm thinking about doing one actually, thought it might be quite cool. So I might test this out myself before I sell it. But this is worth sort of hopefully just with the bog standard like battery and charger no camera bag or accessories really this should hopefully be 50 60 pound easily so again markup isn't as good as sort of a pound to 50 60 but obviously not everything can be a pound or two sometimes you are having to pay fair prices to get that good amount and again keeping that average sale price high so i know when i do get a kaching on ebay or on depop i know it's going to be a good amount of money coming in if i was dealing in lower end value items and that kaching might get boring if i'm selling stuff for sort of five six pounds maybe ten pounds that doesn't get my blood flowing i like seeing 50 pounds 60 pounds 100 pound sales nice and exciting and obviously then i don't have to list as much i'm getting a bit full now especially up here but um yeah when a sale does come in uh it's gonna be a big juicy one that's the aim of the game for me anyway that's my target market buy not as many items list of not as many items but when i do get a sale it's a big punching item so yeah overall very happy lots of return to be had i got crack on now and list this stuff get it pictured and tested making it look good and then i can repeat that cycle of buying to then sell to then repeat again buy sell repeat I hope you enjoyed that. I haven't had a charity shop video for a while, so thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit that bell so you know when I release new videos in the future or go live randomly. I do that. I try and do it once a week or so. So if you hit that bell, you know as soon as I have gone live, you can join in on the fun.
that's all from me now thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye there you go and his arm should pop out as well i'll come on 